Our 42nd president, Bill Clinton, was born in 1946. He was a Democrat, and in addition to serving as state attorney general of Arkansas in 1976, he served five terms as governor. During his presidency, he focused on unemployment, deficit, health care, and welfare reform. To renew America, we must be bold. We must do what no generation has had to do before. We must invest more in our own people, in their jobs, and in their future, and at the same time, cut our massive debt. And we must do so in a world in which we must compete for every opportunity. It will not be easy. It will require sacrifice. But it can be done and done fairly. In addition to lowering the rate of unemployment, Bill Clinton also issued tax increases and spending cuts that created an economic surplus. He wanted to establish a universal health care system, so he put Hillary Clinton in charge of the task force, which failed. One of Bill Clinton's most important accomplishments was the passage of the North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, that was signed into law on December 8, 1993. This free trade agreement between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico eliminated all tariffs and trade restrictions between the nations to create the largest free trade zone in the world. His foreign policy consisted of a doctrine of enlargement, that in order to expand democracy, the United States must encourage free trade, international peacekeeping efforts and alliances, and involve in world crises when practical and moral. During his presidency, Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic were successfully admitted to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. In addition, the United States and the United Nations successfully intervened through bombing campaigns during Serbian atrocities against Bosnians and the Serbian ethnic cleansing of Albanians in the Kosovo region. America's role will not be about fighting a war. It will be about helping the people of Bosnia to secure their own peace agreement. Our mission will be limited, focused, and under the command of an American general. In fulfilling this mission, we will have the chance to help stop the killing of innocent civilians, especially children, and at the same time to bring stability to Central Europe, a region of the world that is vital to our national interests. It is the right thing to do. Bill Clinton's second term was marked by scandal that began with Whitewater. An investigation by Kenneth Starr into Clinton's cover-up of his financial dishonesty regarding real estate investments made in Arkansas involving the Whitewater River, where Starr let no element of Clinton's life go uninspected. In 1998, news broke that President Clinton had an affair with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. White House employee Linda Tripp had notified Starr's investigators about the affair and Starr questioned the president under oath. Clinton denied the affair under oath, but after months of denial, he finally told the grand jury that he did in fact have an inappropriate relationship with Monica Lewinsky. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. It constituted a critical lapse in judgment and a personal failure on my part for which I am solely and completely responsible. But I told the grand jury today and I say to you now that at no time did I ask anyone to lie, to hide or destroy evidence, or to take any other unlawful action. Although he denied obstructing justice, the House of Representatives charged him with lying under oath to a federal grand jury and obstructing justice on December 19, 1998, and President Clinton became the second president in history to become impeached. Though Clinton was impeached, he still left a significant impact on America's domestic and foreign policies. His promotion of tax reforms and cuts in federal spending eliminated government deficit and led to the strongest economy America had seen in years. Also, with the creation of NAFTA, Clinton set the precedent to promote more economic interactions between the countries of North America. In addition, Clinton's involvement in the Balkans ended possible threats to European security and transatlantic cooperation.